Cameron Smith, without a doubt, has been the marquee signing for the LIV Golf League. And even though he's had to come under fire for abandoning the PGA Tour, especially with his lofty number two ranking, he's got no regrets about the decision. In today's video, we'll talk about how Smith ended up being the Saudi League's poster boy and the big Aussie revolution he's gearing up to lead in the near future. So keep watching. First off, Smith looks back on a scary career move. LIV Golf made some pretty big signings during its inaugural season. Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, and Brooks Kepka have all been high profile. Plus, while adding top talent to your roster, you're also taking them away from the competition. No signing comes even close to Cameron Smith's signature sheer magnitude. After all, when he signed, he was the second best golfer in the entire world. Oh, and if you disregard the rankings, some might say that he was the best. So of course, there was bound to be a lot of buzz around him, especially since he was abandoning the PGA Tour at such a young age. Like, he's the type of guy who's in contention to win every competition he takes part in, which explains why his move was so controversial. People just wanted him to break PGA records. That said, even though he calls it a scary career move, especially since he moved to a league that's been shunned by the majority of the mainstream golfing community, he doesn't regret any of it. Speaking to the Daily Mail, the Australian star said he spoke to many good people, including his mom and his dad, before making the decision. And even though it was a scary career move, just because LIV is a fresh tour, he has no regrets about it now. Besides, it's not like he's suffered since the switch. Sure, he's dropped down on the golf rankings due to OWGR points. In most other metrics, however, he's thriving. Up next, Cam Smith has been on fire at LIV Golf. Of course, when you sign someone like Smith, you expect him to just walk into your league and win everything. Then again, you have to remember other competitors like Johnson aren't there to be beaten either. So, things didn't exactly start very smooth for the Aussie youngster. As the LIV season progressed though, he grew into the league and even ended up winning in Chicago. And since then, he hasn't looked back. The 29-year-old has been a godsend for the Saudi league regarding marketing and competition. He's had two top 10s in the four LIV events. Plus, he's also collected almost $4 million in winner's checks alone. So, it's been pretty good for himself too. Oh, and we're not going to talk about the $100 million signing bonus because that's just overkill, isn't it? That's the thing. Even though he's dropped down in the ratings, he's been brilliant in every other aspect. His play is fantastic, and he's also been a great ambassador for the league. Besides, his impact by bringing his massive Australian fan base on board can't be undermined. Like, we already had that connection with Greg Norman at the helm, and to be fair, the 67-year-old has done a great job of prioritizing Aussie fans too. When you've got an active Australian player, one of the best in the world, on the roster, then that turns into a whole other proposition. So the pieces are falling into place. Not to mention, Smith still hangs out with his tour colleagues. Over the past year or so, we've seen how the PGA Tour members react when someone defects and switch sides. And newsflash, most of them don't seem overly pleased about the decision. That being said, things have finally started to cool down as of late. So much so that we're seeing people mend broken friendships again. So it's not a surprise when you hear Smith talking about his old tour colleagues who, he says, are still good friends with him. He even likes spending time away from the course with them, despite their differences regarding their professional choices. However, there is only one winner for him, the golf fans. Continuing his Daily Mail interview, the Aussie star said that the fans love LIV golf a lot, and that's been one of the big biggest motivators for him to continue with his decision. What's more, the league's accessible nature has also sparked a ton of interest in people who perhaps weren't always into the sport. Besides, even if some people pick up a golf club for just a whack here or there and have a beer just by watching him play in the Saudi league, it's still good enough. After all, when more people watch the sport, it's not a win for LIV or the PGA Tour. Instead, it's a win for the entirety of the golfing pyramid. What's more, the Aussie 
Ramsey predicts LIV's financial future. Ever since the Upstart Circuit's finale in Miami, there has been a lot of talk about its future. The league has been super successful in making headlines and nabbing top talent. At the same time, there's still nowhere near their actual ambition. There's no media rights deal so far, for instance, or the viewership numbers don't seem overly positive either. And while we get that these pieces take time to fall into place, it's also fair to question the league over its long-term integrity. Oh, and let's not forget, even though the Saudi wealth fund's money supply seems infinite, we know it will run out soon. So they need to start making a return on their billion dollar investment. Now, Cam Smith was presented with the same question. When will LIV Golf finally become a financial success? And according to him, there's nothing to worry about because everything they've built has been very promising. Plus, there's a ton of interest in the breakaway tour from sponsors and media partners. So LIV becoming a financial question is a guarantee, though he did say that it could take almost 10 years to make up the amount of money they've spent, which doesn't sound great, does it? That said, we're sure no one expects them to earn a billion dollars in the next five years either. Now, for Cam Smith's $38 million LIV tournament in Adelaide. As we've mentioned earlier, the Aussie has sort of turned into the poster boy for the Saudi league. But even more than that, he's a true ambassador representing LIV golf in Australia and making some key moves there. For instance, his team in the competition is an all Aussie contingent that includes Leishman, Matt Jones, and Wade Ormsby. They've also been brilliant throughout the season, finishing second at LIV's team championship in Miami. Next season, however, is going to be another step up for Smith because, yep, as promised by Greg Norman, he is indeed headlining a big LIV tournament in Adelaide. Scheduled for April of 2023, the $38 million event will take place at the Grange golf club, whose East course is designed by the LIV commissioner himself, and it will be a direct follow-up to the U.S. Masters, as it takes place just a couple of weeks after the major tournament. Coming up, the Australian event has massive potential. A four-year deal has already been penned for the event, meaning it will be a part of LIV's long-term future. Plus, it will be a part of the core 14 event schedule for the full-fledged golf league next year. It will feature all major winners including Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Bryson DeChambeau, and Sergio Garcia. And when you add Aussies like Cam Smith and Leishman into the mix, you get the best field the country has seen in years. That's why this tournament is important though, because despite producing some top talent over the years, Australia is one of those regions that the mainstream golfing hierarchy has just neglected. So Norman's out to change that as, according to him, the country is deserving of the world's top competition. Moreover, he hopes his home nation can play a big role in LIV golf in the future too. After all, there's so much untapped potential there, both in terms of talent and attracting new viewers, meaning it could be a real game changer for the league. Finally, LIV Australia couldn't have been possible without Smith. Greg Norman's been pretty vocal about bringing better golfing events to Australia, and with this one, he may have just hit the jackpot, though he admits that he couldn't have done it without Cam Smith because he's the biggest Aussie player in the world right now. On top of that, he's also the captain of Team Australia. So his fully embracing LIV golf and helping with all the promotional setup has been super valuable. And honestly, this seems like the correct path for the star as not only is he is going to cement himself as the main guy for the country to get behind, but he's also going to grow in influence. Besides, who knows? Maybe he'll take the helm of the boss man from Norman one day. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Cameron Smith will be LIV Golf's most important signing? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.